Welcome to Termini train station in Rome. We have just spent the last couple of days in Rome and we are now heading over to Naples just for 24 hours. And to get to Naples from Rome, the easiest way is to come to the Termini station, which is the main train station in Rome, and then get a train just down to Naples. It's about a hour, 15 minute train there and so we are here now and just waiting for our train to arrive. As soon as you enter the station there's this big board with departures which is pretty clear. Ours is the 9.15 on there that says to Salerno. It stops off at Napoli. To get tickets for this train I booked before we arrived and it was actually quite cheap. I booked on train line and it cost about £10 each I think it was. Uh, I did book a little bit in advance, maybe like two weeks or so in advance. Welcome to Naples! We have arrived. It was a pleasant train journey. Not quite so pleasant trying to figure out how we get from the train station to our hotel, but we think we figured it out. We've got a day ticket and then we're just getting a bus now over to our hotel to drop off the bag. dropped our bags off at our hotel and we're going to go and get the metro we bought a day ticket we think we've bought a day ticket anyway that you can use on all public transport in Naples we've just used it on the bus then to get to to get to our hotel and we're going to try and use it on the metro to head over to the funicular we'll see if it works Worked. We got on the metro. Ticket was good. We're now just doing a short walk over to Monte Santo station. For the funicular. We've just turned a corner and we can see the castle in the distance. So that is where we're heading first. Castle St. Elmo. She is Station de Monte Santo. This funicular was opened in 1891 and it was built to connect Piazza Monte Santo with the Castle St Elmo district. The residential area around the castle really grew in the late 1800s and so they needed a way to connect the people who lived up there with the lower ground of Naples. It carries about 4 million passengers annually. 12,500 on work days. It is used a lot by the locals to get from up high to down low in Naples. As we are doing, to get to Casa San Elmo, you get on the Monte Santo station and then you get off at the Morgan station and then there's about a three, five minute walk over to the castle. It is five euros to enter for adults and it is free for kids. The Castle St. Elmo is a fortress on top of Vomero Hill and whilst there are some plaques around the castle with some interesting information, the main reason that we went up and most people I think are for the amazing like 360 views of Naples. The views are absolutely incredible. You can see the whole Bay of Sorrento, you can see Vesuvius. I have a video coming out next about our visit to Vesuvius and Pompeii, so subscribe if you're not ready, that will be coming next. Well, that was pretty amazing. Definitely would recommend a visit to Castled St. Elmo. 
Maybe not in the middle of the day like this though. It's about, what time is it? One, about two o'clock now, I think. I'm very hot. And maybe like middle of the day, August, yeah. <laughs> Pretty hot. There are some toilets up there, so that was handy. We're now heading down. We're gonna get the funicular back down and head to Toledo Metro Station, which is kind of, we've just been through it anyway, so it's on the way. It's a magnificent metro station, apparently. So let's go. Hotel, Hotel Bella Capri, and this is our room. Quick little room tour. It's quite nice to be honest. We've got a single bed there, double bed, toilet, just a basic toilet and shower. Stephen was going to have a bath, so unfortunately he can't. In this, and we have a balcony. Let's have a little look. I mean, it's not a beach view, but oh, it's quite nice to be honest to just sit out here and watch the goings on. That massive cruise ship, wonder of the seas. And also, just behind the cruise ship, you can see Vesuvius over there. There are a ton of other things that I've put on my Naples to do list. I always call them to a I always go on Google Maps and, like I'm off. Or places that I want to visit and there are quite a few other places that I'd like to go and see but to be honest we're feeling just quite worn out and knackered <laughs> and so we're leaving again tomorrow morning and we just want to relax and have an early night really so I think our plan is probably sit on the balcony here it's a bit noisy but we're gonna watch the the wonder of the seas and we think Queen Elizabeth as well. What's that? Oh, I think the Queen Elizabeth is leaving now, Stephen. The Queen Elizabeth is leaving now. Come see. Don't know, but it's going, isn't it? Yeah, it's at sea for two days. Where's it going? Mallorca. Queen Elizabeth's gone. And so, yeah, we're just going to sit here and relax and wonder if the seas is going in a little while. That's our plan for the evening. But check out these other things that you could do whilst you're in Naples. Lots of people come and stay in Naples and then head over and visit Vesuvius and Pompeii and Herculean. You could do that. We are actually going to go and stay in Pompeii for a couple of days and do those activities. There are the San Gennaro catacombs, which is split over two levels and there's more than 3,000 burials there. And I've been to Paris catacombs. I've never been to any others. They're interesting, but very kind of spooky and eerie places to visit. There's also Castle Nouveau, which was actually right by our hotel. It is the main historical site in Naples. It was built in 1282. Another castle, there's Castle del Uvu, which 
means the egg castle. Uh, this is the oldest remaining fortress. It was built in the 6th century BC, which is crazy, crazy old. And then the main square would be worth a visit, Piazza del Plebiscito, the royal palace and the basilica are there and it looks amazing architecture of the pictures that I have seen of it. So I would say that that would definitely be worth a visit too. It's getting dark. We've just been sat here watching. It's really quite interesting to be honest. Just sat on the balcony watching the goings on of the port and watching the ships come and go. I think the wonder of the sea is about to go. They're just, um, I don't know what it's called, like moving the boats. 